It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Indiana Jones. Minute. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute the daily podcast in which we put our finger right on the heart of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom one minute at a time. I'm Pete Mummert. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm the intern, Jerry Porter. And today we're joined once again by Hal Lublin and Mark Gagliardi from the We Got This podcast. Welcome back, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Yeah, thanks for coming on. This is, this is fun. And today we are talking about Minute 37, And minute 37 begins with Indy climbing off of his elephant to see why his mahout is afraid. And it ends with Willie climbing off of her elephant to see just what Indy's doing back there behind the bushes. And I I just have to say, like, if we have if we're going to put a sad bell in here, um, (laughs) this the beginning of this minute makes me really nostalgic for Raiders. Oh, my God. That was going to be my note. (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 we had two sad bells. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Three, three, three sad, sad bells. <laughs> three orange this is This is almost exactly like minute two where that that uh, porter pulls a, pulls open the, the vines with that really beautiful knit hat and freaks out. Yeah. And we even get the close-up of Indy's eyes and everything and his sweaty yeah. brow and the, the jungle and the, oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, if, the, if, you, if, his, if you took his, some of these stills and told me, oh, this is cut out of Raiders, this is like extra Raiders stuff, I would absolutely believe you. You would yeah. say, why is Short Round there? Well, it depends on what <laughs> I'm sure. And why is he the same age he was in 1935? Yeah, you call those tusks? <laughs> well, you know what? The lighting on his face is that split thing where it's, it's only his face is half lit. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I don't know, it's something about his countenance and his approach... And something about the locals freaking out. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a, yeah. And it's a very oh, close Raiders. approach. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And it is. It's the same, like you said, Pete. It's the same situation as the as as in Raiders. Like the guides are freaking out, and he's going to check out what it is. Although this time he's a lot more freaked out than he was in uh, in Peru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, maybe this he learned his lesson because Peru happens after. So in Peru, he's like, uh, y- "You take that, man. Why don't you check that one out? <laughs> right. <laughs> you taste that poison." <laughs> And speaking of freaked out, I actually, um, last night at 1 a.m., I <laughs> went to the Fountain of Knowledge, that is 7-Eleven, and I spoke with my good friend Amal, who's uh, from Sri Lanka and speaks Sinhalese, and he was kind enough to provide us a translation oh, for beautiful. what the Mahout says here, yes. Oh. He says, there's a catastrophe ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, it took him a minute. He goes, well, there's, it's like a headlines, da- you know, uh, danger lies ahead. It was like something troublesome, something dangerous lies ahead. And he goes, no, nope, that's not the right word. He goes, a, he goes hang on a minute. <laughs> Amal goes, hang on a minute. Let me get the, give me a minute. You go buy a kombucha or something. And then he came back and he's like, catastrophe. There's a catastrophe ahead. That's the word. Is he talking about the movie, or is he talking about the... <laughs> yeah. it's not you guys, there's some real doozies coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's exactly how we felt when we said we were going to tackle this Temple of Doom. <laughs> Those thing. hot dogs have been cooking all day. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> <Don't take it>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, the, the, does it, did anybody else notice that the first statue looks a lot like Mumra from Thundercats? <laughs> oh my god but no. like the weaker mumra where he's like i haven't tapped my cane on the ground or whatever i'm just an old <laughs> oh skeleton god. guy walking around <laughs> definitely don't have muscles it's a little bit uh gigerish uh like from alien like it's got that, that was that, exactly that, my yeah that wet ribbed kind of you know well not just that you've got <laughs> a you've got a weirdness. head coming out of the chest cavity yeah, yeah. Like and one oh, coming nice. out of his crotch yeah, <laughs> right. skull down there too. A smaller skull. <laughs> uh, I have a question about this statue. Um, he's got—I know he's got fingers hanging around his neck. But is that other necklace? Is that popcorn? I can't. Yeah, I can't. Tell. It looks it's like a, a popcorn garland on a Christmas tree. Right. I think there's there's philodendrons and and some nice. There's like. Uh, listen, I'm with you. This is my note. If you're t- you know, if you're talking about sacrifices to a deity and you want to honor Kali, a finger necklace and a lay is kind of chintzy. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that's <laughs> I mean that's a miserly supplicant there, you know, and yeah. and, and like a rotator cuff that uh, that's thrown in in the middle. <laughs> it's like a finger necklace, a rotator cuff. And you're like, this is just sacrifice byproducts. Well, isn't that also a, there's an ear in his lap? Oh, yeah. I See, I yeah. thought that was maybe a roca- rotator cuff. Is that an ear? <laughs> I thought it was a <laughs> I, thought I was, it was wondering where the rotator yeah, really, cuff was. Too. I was looking for it. I've learned to let those things go, but I'm glad like it a... <laughs> turned out to be yeah. something. I mean, it's a, look, if it it's a... an ear that's a little bit more, it's, it's a little <laughs> bit higher stakes, but I'm still sort of, all I thought of is like maybe this pen- petitioner had like a humble request for Kali. Like, yeah. you know, a dear Kali, please make this weekend's garage sale a success. They use every part of the sacrifice and like they killed a guy for something else, but they didn't use the fingers. Like, oh, use the fingers for the, the statue out in the woods. Yeah, I, I've, I've included thing... a rotator cuff uh, because I'm also trying to get my elephant to conceive. <laughs> Thank I you. thought the thing in the lap was a scented candle just because they were like, you know what? All we did was hang fingers and some popcorn around around his neck. We've got to make it at least smell nice, yeah. like we've made an effort. Look, this fingers and popcorn necklace thing really leads me to believe that there were two different competing designers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And one was like, let's do flowers and popcorn and like Earth Mother things. And they're like, no, no, fingers. Fingers. <laughs> Somebody went to hang the popcorn and went, oh, I see Stephanie's been here already. <sighs> Well, the then fingers. on the other statue, statue is their hair. <laughs> I'm going to puke. I don't know, really. <laughs> uh, that little, that like, little white tuft of hair. Yes. Is yeah. that hair? Uh, or is it like, yeah, like oh, a skunk? Yeah, it might, oh, yeah. It looks like the end of a rope. <laughs> and also, I next to the fingers, did a bird fly into the, uh, into the statue? There's <laughs> yeah. a big, dead black it's bird just next to the bird fingers. stapled there. Yeah. <laughs> Which... I don't know if that was Stephanie or not, or if oh, that totally was just Stephanie. like. About... <laughs> what if we, you know what though? Okay. So it is deliberate. At least that supplicant <laughs> actually put the whole bird in. They didn't yeah. just put the talons <laughs> yeah. like a with talon a yeah. necklace. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. You see, I think that's someone trying to work against the shaman's spell because his spell is always the raven. Like you always hear the raven call, so I think someone's trying to kind of counteract that so they're like you want a raven oh well what about and the, and the shaman has like famously uh white hair <laughs> yeah so maybe yeah. maybe he stole yeah. a lock of his hair and they put the 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 shaman's white tuft of hair up on that other statue yeah and i didn't notice but now i'm assuming he has like famously long fingers too <laughs> I, 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 not, way, I, not anymore yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's one of those puppets that, that like you sit on your shoulder and you have like a like a little wire with a button when you press the button the head moves <laughs> how did, how like, it's not just uh, yeah uh, well you can find out for just 40 rupees why don't you come over here and try one out your kids will love it <laughs> you sir with the undershirt come over here <laughs> I want to talk to you for a second you're a man of distinction and clothing I'm good <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stare at the elephants. Damn it! So he's the Willie Loman of statues. I couldn't sell any today. <laughs> well, my, you know, my question here is really like, let's use an analogy here. If the Temple of Doom is say like the Vatican, with Mola Ram as the Pope, what what did Indy? And crew just come upon. Like, is this a local Temple of Doom parish church? <laughs> like, it's kind of like a drive-through Temple of Doom. Like, if, you know, for those of you who couldn't make it to the 10 a.m. service today in the bowels of Pancock Palace, don't worry. Stop at a roadside altar for a quick spiritual tune-up. We thought the hill was a good idea when we built this place, but it does make it harder for you guys to get here. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you don't have time, we have, we have a 10 a.m. service, and usually there's like a, well, you know, some places have like a, a 10, and then maybe like a one, or maybe a five. And got to accommodate. And you're like, well, yeah, but is this? I mean, what is this? Which one has the rock band for the kids to come and enjoy? Like, we're going to try and get the kids over here. <laughs> it's more contemporary. We've got a, one of them plays the electric guitar. We put all the lyrics up on the screen behind them. Church is cool. Yeah. It's cool again, guys. So uh, the second statue is actually, I think, a statue of Kali because it's got four arms, which Kali usually does. And it's kind of like... 
uh, that famous that like that Simpsons episode with tarot cards where they always like something looks really bad but it's actually really good. Because <laughs> in in a in the, the Hindu religion, a statue of Kali usually has a sword and a severed human head and uh, like a bowl to catch the blood. Except all that stuff's good. Like the sword is divine knowledge, and the head is the human ego and ignorance that you have to cut off to attain enlightenment. Oh my God! Yeah, sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fingers and popcorn are also something very nice. Yeah, yeah. and some philodendrons. Yeah, he's just super misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is before the days of therapy, where you could just work that stuff out without yeah. cutting your head off. <laughs> I don't know, Doc. Everyone just hands me dead birds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got more fingers than I know what to do with. I appreciate the effort, but really. Yeah. You know what I'd love? An AMC card. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, though. Like, he could make a list and then just keep pointing at it with all the different fingers. I want this. I want this. I want this. Quit showing off. But, Jerry, you bring uh, up a good point that they, they never really... Uh, we see these and we're freaked out by them, but we never really find out what exactly these statues are what the i mean we know what the statues are but like what the significance of the fingers and everything is we never really like is it just spooky atmosphere that they plant around the palace yeah, i wonder I mean, if or later like on in the movie are, are we going to see uh characters later in the movie who are missing individual fingers and be like oh yeah. well, i got one of that guy <laughs> somebody's one, like yeah. yeah can you tell me where the lower mine shaft is <laughs> no nope. i sure can't <laughs> i sure can't you know that bob why are you doing this to me and i was like I, I don't know i could if i had my ear to hear you yeah <laughs> oh. yeah or my thumbs hey, like, me that my hammer. Hands over there <laughs> i don't have a rotator cuff i can't <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well see i'm wondering like if pancock palace exactly is like the the main cathedral then mm. is this just a little like a you know like a a, a little paris church yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's the little annex yeah you light yeah. a candle <laughs> for your grandma and then you move on yeah the <laughs> late <laughs> service is the yeah. contemporary service that has the rock band yeah, yeah. so there it is and Kali's playing two guitars because yeah. you know four arms <laughs> Forgive me, Father, like I'm about sh- to uh, chop off an ear. Yeah. They yeah. see those, like, contemporary, like, you don't understand what my arms mean. You think they're mean, but they're not. Let me explain over the course of the next ten minutes of this song. Oh, all of his songs are about that. <laughs> we get it. What requires explanation? People get scared. Oh, uh, guys, the coffee house is closing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pastor wants to rap. Oh, Great. That's our cue. I hope he doesn't do have, skateboard have have, tricks. Like they can't have the, the grand name, like the Temple of Doom. It's just like, this is the first shrine of mild discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly, I mean, like I said, I mean, come on, a, a finger necklace? Come on. But then look, I just noticed I mean, uh, Indy is playing with the erector set of Ennui or something. It's uh, it's it, against the statue. There's like this, they look like metal. They look like metal rods or something or and they're all tied together and stuff. Like I have no idea. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Oh, those fingers. The, the the fingernails on those fingers are really yeah. unkempt. Or yeah. they're they're covered in Lee press on nails. Now, see, yeah. I thought uh, I'm like that's a guitar player. Yeah. 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 Enough with the guitar. Alternating short ones and long ones. Yeah. It's either a bunch of coke addicts or guitar players, like you said. <laughs> Maybe these are billboards. Oh yeah, for like, uh, and not like a like an alternate shrine. This is just yeah. you know, like when you go down the road, down the highway, and you keep saying, "What is the thing on Route 66?" <laughs> <laughs> just for yeah. miles and miles, yeah. they have these. If you didn't have any fingers, you'd be home by now. Yeah. <laughs> Catastrophe ahead. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was just reading. Yeah. Yeah. He was, re- he was reading the fingers. It's the world's longest popcorn necklace. The Temple of Doom is number one, 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 one. <laughs> the gift shop is so tacky. Just a bunch of fake finger necklaces yeah. and wisps of hair and birds <laughs> and magnet keychains. It's very bad. And double-headed guitars. <laughs> double-headed <laughs> guitars. I do like that little, like the finger flashlight, though. That is cool. Yeah, it's, you know what? It's good in the dark. You don't want to scrape up the keyhole to your car if you don't have one of those yeah, remotes. Right. Yeah. Well, the you have to get the one guys. that use the one that doesn't have the long fingernail. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's purpose. a good point. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, you know how many real skulls are in that statue? There's, There's one. Like it's a, like Pirates of the Caribbean. 
There's one real skull <laughs> in there. There's one real skull because they're, isn't there like kind of like a baby one? Yeah. And then That's... I think there's one maybe on, like above the right shoulder. I have to look at it again. Wait, are there real ones? Yeah. I didn't even realize that. I thought they're all kind of like. I well, it, may, it might be on like the bottom with like the ear artist. On top of it. Yeah. Artist well, rendition. But which we statue? Do have the first an statue ear or the to second put one? next to it to measure, you know, relativity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like this, if, if that was a human-sized skull, then the ear on top of it is enormous. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what this makes me think of in a weird way? The fact that this scene looks so much like Raiders is it reminds me of. Oh, it doesn't remind me of. But it makes me think of Sam Raimi's three Spider-Man movies. They all. You know, he directed all of them. They all—I don't even know if they have the same writers or anything—but they all look the same. They all look like they're all part of one big story, like one big continuum, and and they kind of all feel the same. But you can't mm-hmm. say the same thing about like all the Raiders movies or all the indie movies. Like they're like outside of this one scene, I don't think of anything else from the other movies that uh, that look like or or feel like Raiders. Like this one feels like Raiders in those moments where Indy's coming up to the thing, and See, uh, but- you don't get that from the others. I agree with that, but with the, with one difference here is when we first see this, you know, this scene in Raiders, the one with the the you know the locals coming upon a Chachapoyan god or whatever or catastrophe ahead sign, we have birds flying out of the mouth, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But in this mm-hmm. one, we just have a smacked plaster dead bird, <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of goes to show you what we've been saying all along. I mean, Temple of Doom is just darker yeah. you know it's yeah. just darker i mean the bird's dead and plastered in this one they're not like flying out you know like hey we we <laughs> <laughs> so that's where they're going and there aren't like rotator cuffs and ears you know <laughs> right. around this, this is pretty pretty this is a pretty dark gnarly scene actually <laughs> yeah it's just supposed to terrify you you're yeah. supposed to feel a sense of doom like if you think you feel doom now, where do you get in that temple? <laughs> that temple right. You guys, I just thought of a name for this movie. What? Really? What? <laughs> Raider of the... Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, this, this one shot here um, looks like it was shot way after the rest of the movie. Uh, Which one? Because yeah. yeah. Harrison Ford has a ponytail? It's when, he goes, it's when he goes to the second statue. Like that little shot from underneath, it kind of looks a little bit handy cam on a back lot. Like, yeah, oh, like we need to add a little or extra. Yeah, yeah. We we messed up the footage. Uh, we spilled it in something. You know, I Joey had his coffee this morning, so can we just come down to the lot? We found this old statue from another thing. Yeah. Well, that you know, I had a question for Pete on that one. Is that uh, is it me or does that maybe that second statue maybe look a little bit like a monkey, which could be like some bad version of Hanuman or something like that. I, I thought he looked like Snaggletooth. <laughs> I'm, that's, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I got a dead bird on me even. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I you guess we should be saying she. I got a necklace made of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Exit stage left. Exit stage left even. <laughs> Get him on a mine car. <laughs> Now I feel less doomy. Wait, this movie becomes <laughs> yeah. infinitely better if if you replace Molaram with with. <laughs> I'm gonna tear your heart out. I'm gonna stick my hand in there, Reefin. Exit down the alligators. <laughs> the alligators. Well, I got one note. Okay. From uh, my sister, oh, wow. Professor Christy Porter. Are these coming in yeah. live as we're recording? Yeah, they come in live. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, she watched and it's, it's <laughs> just still waiting on caller number four. <laughs> it's uh, ancho chilies. Oh God! <laughs> I, I actually, I, I until I started watching this one minute at a time, I thought those were like hot peppers. Like, I, and I was looking at it. I was like, Wait a minute! Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are fingers. Yeah. And you thought Indy was worried because Short Round's allergic to them, and you didn't want to go up there. <laughs> don't come up here because we don't have your shot. You're gonna forget it. Your throat's no. gonna close up. <laughs> yeah, wh- why is he protecting Short Round? He had the kid driving a taxi in the middle of like crime infested yeah. Shanghai. But no, yeah, you don't want to see, see this blood. scary statue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ken, I know you were in a car. I was that, that you were driving while I was firing a gun at people chasing us. But don't look at this statue. You'll have nightmares. Right. right. Oh, we're skipping ahead a little bit. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. That's the next minute. 
I've broken. I've broken the rules. <laughs> broken the rules. Come yeah. on, Tom. I'm a, I'm a failure. We're just very excited. We are. Yeah, it's it's hard not to get ahead of yourself in this movie. I know. Yeah. Great. Uh, Hal and Mark, if people are enjoying the show, where else can they find you guys uh, to hear more of you? They can find us uh, on our weekly podcast. We got this with Mark and Hal. Uh, we are on the Maximum Fun Network, and we settle uh, the world's most important debates, like uh, our episode where we chose the best of the three Indiana Jones movies. The yes, three. We, we do not recognize <laughs> any other Indiana Jones films. And yeah. we also, uh, I want to I want to plug, I know you guys have a Facebook group. We have one as well, uh, where people can come and suggest topics and talk with us about uh, episodes we've done and, and where we got it wrong and where we got it right. And it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash we got this podcast, so we're, we're we're on there to be yelled at and to yell at you, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> community, that's the beauty that's of the internet, internet for you. Yeah. Yep, and I definitely uh, recommend you checking about yelling at him because that was I, I loved the uh, your Indiana Jones episode. Thank you. Oh, definitely. And much. Jerry, if people want to yell at us, is there a good place they could call us? Oh, there's a great place. They should just dial seven two four Lost Ark. And you can leave a message for us um, and let us know. What do you see? Rotator cuff, ear, <laughs> hip socket, fingers, <laughs> ancho chilies, you know. So, yes, 724 Lost Ark. Definitely. And after you've done that, join us back here tomorrow for Minute 38 of the Indiana Jones Minute. Miserly supplicant. <laughs> Bro? <laughs> Crow? Crow? Everybody's confused. <laughs> very lost. Crow? Forgive me. Am I part of it? <laughs> <laughs>